I do like how these uh, episode titles don't really spoil anything or say anything about the show or the episode in particular. This one's called For Myself. Not a clue what that means. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen episode two. It feels really good to say that. Last episode, we got the introduction to uh, Itadori, uh, well, Yuji Itadori. We lost his grandfather. He went out in style. He was a badass. We met Fushiguro. We got a little pre-intro that was in the future, I'm assuming, where we met Gojo Satoru, I think his name is. Um, really hard to write down these names really quick. But he said he's going to be executed, and we also saw at the end of the episode that he ate a curse in order to be strong enough to save the people he cared about. And he ate that curse. He co-inhabited his body with a super strong reincarnated curse. So we'll see how that turns out. This is going to be crazy. I am just so excited to watch this episode, though. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching like Haikyuu, Black Clover, many, many more, check out that Patreon down below. Links are always down there for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's hop right on into this though. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode two, for myself. So excited. I could see why he'd be suspect. But I also, also see why he'd be hesitant. Gojo. <laughs> I could already tell I'm gonna like him. <laughs> so so because it was his finger that's actually him sukuna ten seconds okay okay he was sightseeing he wasn't lying So they've been fighting curses for eras for many a millennia. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh, 10 seconds. So Itadori can really come out when he wants to. He's Of course, that knocks him out, bro. Go Gojo is what? So he's testing him out when he sleeps. Okay. If he's testing, like, if he's weak when he sleeps and he can just take. Okay. So that's where we get to the beginning of episode one. I fuck with that, Fushigoru. Ushiguro. Sorry, I said his name wrong. Appreciate that, my man. I can tell. I'm gonna. We'll cut right back to where we were. <laughs> they really don't. Want because. Twenty in total. Ten fingers. Ten toes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so they have six total. Wow. Okay. So he's going to eat all the fingers and then they'll kill him? 
This is a very interesting situation. He's gonna be the strongest fucker I've ever seen. Oh, from the curse. That's horrible. Yeah. If only you guys know, he was the one who technically saved you. So he also has self-blame, guilt for it. Understandable. I like that. Choose your hell. Craziest ultimatum. It's a good way to look at it. And follow his grandpa's ideals and do what they want as well. Is he going to eat number two right now? Right in the area where Gramps was cremated, we're going to be doing this? This is a little dangerous, wouldn't we say? But you gotta do it for old Gramps. Hell yeah. Set in stone. <laughs> oh, Fushiguro, we're going to Tokyo. Hey, I can already tell these are going to be the homies. Jujutsu high, huh? First years. So only three first years. Fushiguro, us, and who else is the other one? R.I.P. Gramps. He was a real one. Ooh, the principal. He just makes his own mouth? <laughs> Two faces and four arms. <laughs> okay, can't wait to see that. Super kawaii things. Yaga Masamichi. <laughs> I love Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> he has a fair point. Dolls and that's so it's like it, they're gonna have that's so cool. It's like Nen, they're gonna all have their own individual powers. Okay. This is like fr 
It's like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's on crack. Worst nightmare. I get why he's saying that. Ooh, good move. Good grappling. That is a good answer as well. Yeah, he has steeled his resolve. Oof, that's a bar. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I die, but I don't want to regret the way I lived. Hell yeah. That's true. It's probably gonna be hard to find him. I see. Oh no. That's a good point. He's probably gonna want them to find him. My boy. Who's gonna be our trio? What is that, a JoJo's reference? Alright, before we get into the discussion for this episode, I just want to say, easily one of the best endings to an anime ever. Easily. Easily like top 10, top 5, whatever. All I'm saying is super groovy, love the, love the aesthetic, love the art style, the color scheme, all that jazz. But let's get into the episode. Love our mission. Like, obviously, he's super unique, super special. I can totally see why the higher-ups would be nervous, especially with Sukuna and the little backstory we got on him and how dangerous he is. But I also like the reasoning, you know, by Gojo. Obviously, Gojo's very fun, charismatic, but he also is very dark and serious and knows, you know, like, he plays around a lot. Like, he has that upbeat personality, but he's also willing to get shit done when needs when shit needs to get done. So he was, I think he was dead serious when he was like, do you want to die now or die later? I think he, it was kind of a test. He was fully expecting him to say, let's, let's eat all the fingers and do what I can. And it seems like he's been giving him multiple tests and stuff like that to ask him to see what's, what's going on. Even, you know, even meeting the principal was another test. But I love Gojo's personality and I love how strong he is. He's, you know, even with all of his fingers, I'd still win. It might be a little draining. They're teasing that so well. But I love the uniqueness in this situation that only Itadori Yuji could possibly do this and to eat all 20 fingers. I thought it was going to be 20, 10 toes, 10 fingers. But no, he was a human who was an imaginary god with four arms and two faces and all the jujutsu sorcerers band together to try to stop him and they still failed i need more backstory on that i cannot wait to see more i can't wait to get a couple more fingers in us that sounded so not the way i wanted that to come out but to see what he's gonna be like more when he pops out. I wonder if we're gonna be able to be strong enough to fight on our own or if we're gonna need him in order to fight. It's gonna be very interesting. I have seen the first episode of Parasite a long time ago and I want to rewatch that. I wanna watch that show from, from watching this because I know it's somewhat similar, but I just I just love that concept in shows and in anime in total. The I love the curses so far. We've only seen two. But I love how different they can be. Like Fushiguro summons his two yin and yang wolves. And then I think his name was Yaga Masamichi. I, it was, the names go by so quick, guys. I'm, I'm trying to just stay fo so focused. But he is constantly making dolls. And his is like, what, corpse curse? Curse corpse? He can like, uh, he's like a manipulator from Hunter Hunter. He can put his, his I, I wanted to say Nen. He, his curse goes into manipulated dolls and can use that. And they're like heavy, like they're fighting you know like i said five nights at freddy nightmare head ass that was so crazy i'm so curious about gojo what his specific curse power is i'm so curious and why he has that 
wrap around his eyes because is he blind I, how does he see what does he move what you know i don't know i'm curious but i also feel super bad for iguchi and i didn't get their other the the girlfriend not the girlfriend but the friend that's a girl who's also in the occult phenomenon club i didn't get her name i do feel so bad for them what happened to them they're just innocent victims but it really did help to motivate uh yuji and help him definitely steer towards that that right way that right path and we're on it and i'm all we're on that right train and i'm all aboard choo choo all i'm ready for it if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below i am loving this shit uh <laughs> excuse my language but uh don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new follow me on all social medias check out that patreon if you guys want early access and full length thank you so much dapper squad have a great day you guys peace out